Open wire has a length 12 cm, contains a lot of electrons. This is what we call the number of free electrons, this is called length. Potential difference applied across the end of the wire. Oh wait, let me draw a picture first. So we have a wire. Okay, connected. When you apply potential difference, such as maybe on this side, ooh, 5 volt, here 0 volt. Actually, in this wire, got a lot of electron one. They're just chilling there. But they have potential difference, they will start to be affected and they're like, ooh, oh my goodness, let's start to move. So then these electrons will start to drift. That's why we have the drift velocity. And when the electrons move, by the way, this electron are negative charge, they will cause a current. Current, by the way, is flowing in this direction. I know, I know, it's a bit weird. Current is where a positive charge will move, but in real life, who is actually flowing? Electron. Last time, people just... They got a bit confused. Ah. The orange colour one is what we call conventional current, but electron is actually moving in the opposite direction. But that's not important here. Let's continue first. Drift speed is given to us, so on average, all of them inside there are drifting to the left. That's V. What is the current in the wire? Our good friend for current in the wire is I equals to A N V Q. This is the equation given in the first page, the data formula sheet of every past year question. How do we find that? We have a problem here. We don't know A. We also don't know small n. Small n is number density. Yeah. Which also means if this is, let's say, a copper wire, there are number of free electrons per unit volume. That is number density. They never give to us also. They give us number of free electrons, which is another N, capital N. So what we need to do here is to do some adjustments to the, to the data we have. We don't have cross-section area, never mind. But we could come up with the equation for volume. So volume is the cross-section area times the length. Length we know. Ah, how long is this wire? 12 cm. That is our length on top there. So if I substitute this in my equation, area is volume per length. Number density, I'm going to sub in that as well. Number of free electrons inside a volume of wire times drift speed and the charge, which is going to be E here. Electron charge. Because electron is the one flying around. This one only I have enough info because now volume and volume cancel out. I don't need to worry about volume. So I have an equation where N over L times drift velocity times E. Woohoo! We have enough information now. Celebration. Let's plug it in. So I equals to number of free electron, 5 by 1 times 10, 22, over length, 0 0.12 meters, drift speed, 4 times 10, negative 6, or oh, quite slow, but in my these are electrons, and the charge of elementary charge. 1.6. You press calculator, we should get 0 0.272 amps. Here. So 272... 0 0.27 is the best choice. So answer is C. So it's quite tricky. Ah. It hasn't... I haven't seen many questions that ask in this manner. Because usually we just use this a and VQ, we can find the answer. But now, oh, you need to know what is number density as well. And you think of the volume because we don't have volume. Right, so that's all for this question. Let's move on to the next one.